Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel about technology. I am Neha and today we will discuss how you can change your mouse settings in Windows 10. Why do we require to change mouse settings? Well, by changing the mouse settings, you can change primary button of your mouse. You can change the cursor speed. You can change number of lines scrolled in one roll. You can decide whether to scroll in active windows or not. You can change pointer size and shape. And there is many more to go. So let us start with the mouse settings. Just type mouse settings in windows search box and click open the mouse settings app. The first thing that you can do is you can change the primary button of your mouse. By default the primary button of your mouse is left but if you feel you can change it to the right one. Well I am comfortable with the left one so I will keep it left. Next you can change the cursor speed. If you drag this bar towards left you are reducing your cursor speed and if you drag this bar towards right you are increasing your cursor speed. You can also decide whether you want to get multiple lines scrolled at a time or you want only one screen scrolled at a time. If you choose multiple lines, you can increase or decrease the intensity of line by dragging this bar. If you drag this bar towards left, you decrease the intensity of lines and if you drag it towards right, you increase the intensity of line. You can even choose whether you want your mouse to scroll in active windows or not. In active windows are those windows on which you are currently not working. So if you want to scroll in active windows, you just have to switch on this toggle button and if you don't want, just switch off this toggle button. Further, to explore more, just click on Edges Mouse and Cursor Size. It will take you to the Mouse Pointer section where you can change pointer size and color. If you drag this bar towards left, it will decrease your pointer size and if you drag this pointer towards right, it will increase your cursor size. As you can see, the size of my cursor is increased when I drag this pointer towards right. To change the pointer color, you can select one among this. Now let us move towards the additional mouse options. In the mouse properties window under buttons tab in button configuration section, you can switch the primary and secondary button of your mouse. By default, the left button is the primary button of every mouse, but for lefties it can be an issue. So check this checkbox to switch the primary button of your mouse. You can see that now the right button is the primary button of my mouse. Further, you can increase or decrease the double click speed that we generally use to open a folder. To reduce the speed, just drag this bar towards left and to increase the speed, just drag this bar towards right. Further, you can turn on the click lock. It enables you to highlight or drag without holding down the mouse button for a long time. To set it, just briefly press the mouse button and to release it, click it again. To confirm the settings, click on apply and OK. In pointers tab, you can change the scheme and customize your pointer accordingly. Further in pointer option tab, you can decide the speed of your mouse. You can let your mouse to automatically move to the default button of a dialog box like save, ok, apply, etc. In visibility section, you can decide whether your mouse pointer should display trails, whether to hide pointer while typing. You can even let your mouse to show its location when you press control key. In wheels tab you can decide how many lines must be scrolled when you roll the mouse wheel vertically once and how many characters must be scrolled when you roll the mouse wheel horizontally once. Click on apply and ok to confirm the settings. So that's all friends. For more description and explanatory screenshot you can refer our official website qhow.com. I had given URL for the same in the description below. Please like and share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel about technology. Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Till then, take a good care of yourself.